Hey, what's up guys? It's Ashton, uh, Glock2JZ. Uh, three weeks ago, I came at you guys with a little Prodigy review. Um, and I think two days after that video, I acquired the Atlas. Um, I got the Titan uh, RDS V2. <clears throat> so I guess I'll kind of talk about uh, my impressions of using it over the past three weeks, uh, things I like about it, and, um, and go from there. Um, modifications first. I did nothing to the gun besides drop the SRO on it, and um, I put a gas pedal on it uh, about a week and a half into owning it, and then I put some tape on it um, to get a bigger swell because the swell that came on it is a little bit too thin for me. Um, normally on all my guns I tape and put a big ledge inside that tape so I can feel the palm of my hand um, to get a good grip on it. This one had that swell on it. It didn't do enough. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but I did actually put a pretty good swell over uh, the actual swell on the gun. Um, besides that, I haven't done anything else to it. It's bone stock. I haven't messed with the trigger, sear spring, anything at all. Um, shoot it the way I got it. Um, the front a uh, little like fiber optic post came out like the first day I had it. I don't care about that. I, I'm not going to use that anyways, um, but that is something that did happen. Um, the feel of the gun is amazing. Uh, this gun out the box was a little bit stiff on the recoil spring, but that's because it was brand new. After I shot a few hundred rounds through it, the gun did get significantly lighter on the, uh, on the slide. Uh, fitment of the gun is super solid. There's no play. Um, the heritage that I just got rid of, it had a lot of play. Um, I shot that gun a few thousand rounds and it was sloppy. Um, I, I honestly couldn't believe how much slop that it had and it didn't have that at first, which uh, uh, I don't really know what to say about that because uh, my initial Staccato P that I shot <clears throat> thousands and thousands of rounds through didn't do that. The Staccato XC that I shot over 12,000 rounds through didn't do that either. Um, so that was a little bit weird. But this gun is so solid. Um, anywhere, everywhere the fitment can be tight, it is tight. That's why I really impressed. Uh, I was really impressed about that at first. Um, recoil impulse is super flat. I did get a longer trigger, so I'm adjusting to a longer trigger bow. Uh, normally the, uh, or sorry, the shoe. The normally I run a shorter shoe um, than this one, but this is the medium length in black. It came with that, and I was like, you know what, let's try that. They do recommend a bigger shoe for people who have bigger hands, so for me to use the smaller trigger shoe was kind of going against what everybody says you should be doing, so I tried it out. I do like it. Um, I don't find it being better or worse than the other trigger. Um, I am still kind of getting used to that in a way, um, so I do <clears throat> um, I do have a little bit of more time to, to spend on the trigger lengths and figure out which one I love exactly. Um, the grip is amazing. Uh, it has like a lot of texture on it. It's not aggressive. I don't like the aggressive models because it really tears into your hand. Um, and my hands kind of calloused up in a couple places that it wouldn't have been if I was using a plastic grip, but it's whatever. Uh, it's one of those sacrifices you make to adding the additional weight, uh, gaining that strength, uh, gaining that uh, feel into the gun. <clears throat> it's a lot more, um, you know, a lot more well put together is the way I, I, I best can put it. It feels like you're grabbing onto something that's made um, that's that's very strong opposed to the plastic sometimes can just feel like you're grabbing onto a striker fire gun. Um, full length dust cover on this one. It does have slide serrations um, and it does have some little cuts on top here to help grab onto. Uh, I haven't had any issues racking this on a quick reload stage or anything like that. Um, the gas pedal so far, I'm using it as an index point. I'm not really using this gas pedal as a piece to, or as a point to drive the recoil down, um, but I do use it as an indexing point to get my support hand onto the same spot every time, uh, and it does that perfectly. Um, the optic sits a little bit high after looking at it compared to like the Infinity that I was messing around with the other day. Um, the optic sits a little bit high. It doesn't bother me at all, but it is something to take into consideration with that. Um, I've had no malfunctions with it at all. I've shot a few thousand rounds through it, probably 2,000 rounds through it already. Um, I've had no malfunctions at all, no issues whatsoever. The guns ran flawless, uh, which has made me really happy. Um, one thing I don't like about it is this magwell that it came with. I guess it's like an IDPA style, carry style. It's really, really small, so I don't love it. Uh, I have a new one showing up today from FedEx, uh, from um, Atlas that is made for large hands um, and it is a lot bigger to help funnel in those magazines on the reloads because this one the magazine will get stuck 
Um, I can make a video and show people that um, if they want to see, but that's one of the things I didn't like about it at first. Um, besides that, the the gun shoots great. The accuracy is you know just as good as any gun. Um, you know I'm not going to be able to perform better than it can perform. Um, the return to zero has been super good on long range shots, close range shots. I've noticed I might be a little bit slower than I was with the Heritage P because the Heritage P was you know almost a whole inch shorter than this. Um, the weight of the gun feels very solid, very good. It doesn't feel too heavy to where I feel like I'm sluggish uh, swinging it around through stages. Um, so, you know, initial impressions of this, by far my favorite 2011 that I've had. Um, I had the Hyperion that I opted cut. That gun was really good as well, but I think that extra length on the five inch model over the 4.6 helps a lot. Um, 25 yard shots, I'm able to follow up in under half a second with no shoots. So I was very uh, happy with that. The hits were really good as well. Um, so I'm gonna keep on shooting it. Um, I do have a new gun I am building. Uh, I did pick up a STI DVC Tactical. Uh, it's over at DSC Customs right now. Shout out to David, he's doing an optic cut for me on that gun. Um, I'm gonna have that gun optic cut. I got a chili grip coming in for that gun as well. Um, it's five inches, but it's threaded. So it's gonna be basically this same gun, um, but STI, threaded barrel, you know, all the works as well. So. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions, let me know, but that's my initial pressure on my Atlas that I've had now for, you know, a couple weeks, man. Hope you guys have a good rest of your uh, week and look forward to shooting with you guys this weekend. See you guys.